Thanks, man. That's what we are. We earned it. I um, would like to also uh, now bring up Frank Bryant uh, to share his personal story of how these proposed pension cuts will impact retirees. Frank. Thank you, Senator. Hello, my name is Frank Bryant, and I am a co-founder of the North Carolina Committee to Protect Pensions. And we were formed to fight the terrible pension cuts that are allowed under the Multi-Employer Pension Reform Act of 2014. I am honored today to be joined by so many other retirees from around the country who came by the busloads this morning to support this important legislation. I want to thank Senator Sanders and Representative Captor and the other co-sponsors for introducing this important piece of legislation today and to thank the national labor leaders who are here to support it also. I want to also thank the Pension Rights Center for their support. I drove a truck for UPS for 31 years and retired in 2003 after I wrecked my health doing this back-breaking work. Uh, I never expected a handout, but I did expect a good pension. Uh, after jumping in and out of that brown truck for hundreds of times a day over the years, uh, I actually was in much pain when I retired, and I deserved a good pension because it was negotiated for me by the Teamsters Union. It was part of my pay, part of my vacation pay I sacrificed, and we were denied that. What kept me going was knowing that at the end of my time, I was going to get a pension that was going to allow me to live comfortably in my retirement. After all, I gave up wages and vacation pay so I could get this monthly pension. That was a promise, a contract, something that I was told could not be broken. We feel betrayed and angry that at the end of 2014, Congress passed the Multi-Employer Pension Reform Act, allowing retirees and widows pensions to be cut in order to balance the books of multi-employer pension plans, that is just plain wrong. Unless the pension cuts allowed by MPRA are repealed, I and others will end up on public assistance. Because of my pension, I am able to support my extended family the way I should. But believe me, there are a lot of folks who will have it much worse than me. For instance, widows who are living on half of their husband's pensions and end up losing their homes if not living on the streets. Every person out there today wearing a t-shirt or a button has a story to tell, and I hope you'll take the time to talk to them. We are regular, hardworking people. We all lived and believed in the American dream. We don't ask for anything. We worked for everything we have. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We ask Congress today to pass the Keep Our Pension Promises Act we are a rich country and a good country, and we have faith that thanks to Senator Sanders, Representative Captor, and Ryan, and the other co-sponsors, that our government will protect us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Frank. I think the bottom line is pretty simple, and it's been stated by every speaker. This is the wealthiest country in the history of the world. The Republicans just passed a budget which would provide over 10 years over $200 billion in tax breaks to the top two-tenths of 1%. Ooh. Right. If the Republicans and members of Congress can provide huge tax breaks for billionaires, the very least that we can do is to keep our promises made to people who work and earn these pensions. Thank you all very, very much for being here today. This is a fight you're fighting not just for yourselves. Right. Because if this promise is broken to you, it can be broken for every American worker. Every Thank you all very much. Thank you.